I made a video a few months ago about new electric pickup trucks or utes as we call them here in Australia coming to market very soon. Now I'll put a link in the description below to that video. But here my friends is an example of a new electric pickup truck coming to market which will enable a lot of people, potentially myself included, to be able to get access to an electric pickup truck within the next potentially 12 months. And I've got to say, I'm quite excited by that. I think that um, seeing pickup trucks become electrified is going to be really, really exciting. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to the channel, all you new subscribers. Welcome back. To everyone else, great to have you. 2022, it's going to be an absolutely amazing year. Why? Well, wow, so many new electric car models coming to market soon. So much new battery technology. Is Things are changing at an incredible pace. And honestly, it's a great time to be alive. If it wasn't for that pesky coronavirus thing hanging around, but I think it'll probably soon be gone. Anyway, that's my prediction. Now, Geely. They have made some interesting electric cars with their new Zika brand. I made a video about their Zika electric car. I've got to say, it is freaking awesome. And I don't say that to try and exaggerate or clickbait you. It's actually a really, really cool car. I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about Zika's new EV. Now, the exciting thing is that Zika is going to be a global brand, just like Volvo, Polestar, etc., so yes, you will be able to potentially buy a Zika 001 very soon. Check it out. Just tell me what you think of it. Now, Geely have a pickup truck brand. They've got a million brands. It's kind of confusing. But this new pickup truck has been spotted. Now, if you've been wanting an electric pickup truck and you want something that's affordable, then you're probably going to have a few different options within the next couple of years. But in terms of affordability, you're probably going to need to get a Chinese-made electric pickup truck, if you want something affordable, that is. And obviously, Toyota has no plans to electrify the pickup truck within the next five years. As far as I can tell, Ford doesn't either, unless you're in North America or Canada or the American continent. But Ford, as far as we know, doesn't plan on exporting any of their electric pickup trucks anytime soon. Rivian might, but they've got so much demand in America. I don't see that happening for at least five years. Maybe, maybe General Motors, but I don't see that happening within five years either. I mean, the reality is right now, we don't get any American pickup trucks here in Australia, where we love pickup trucks just as much as you guys. Have a look at our sales. Our market here is crazy for pickup trucks. We call them utes. But the key here with this, this pickup truck, from what I can see, it is not a direct competitor to the Ford F-150 Lightning, or really to the Chevy Silverado. It's smaller. It's more like a Ford Ranger size from what I can see. And that is a big market for countries like Thailand, Australia, the UK they sell some as well, South Africa as well, and other Southeast Asian countries. Now, this week, a few images have emerged of an electric powered dual cab pickup truck Ute from Geely's commercial brand, Verizon Auto. The vehicle is pretty heavy camouflage, so you can't really see it all that well. But according to a report online, it might be China's answer to the Ford F-150 electric pickup. Now, I disagree because I think it's smaller. I think it's a Ford Ranger size. But anyway, here's what Greg Cable said. Geely's commercial vehicle brand, Verizon, is taking aim at the Ford F-150 electric pickup with an electric powered dual cab pickup truck. Sources in China confirm it is based on a new ladder frame chassis developed specifically for electric commercial vehicles. Geely's commercial vehicle brand, Verizon, is taking aim at the Ford F-150 Lightning with an electric powered dual cab pickup. Inside EVs claims that this will utilize Geely's newest, latest EV related technology, which is a foundation for the new and quickly growing Zika brand. So if you wanna see some of the tech, in the Zika brand cars, which is probably going to be in this, then check out that Zika video that I talked about before. Now, at this point, it's too early to say anything. We don't have any specific details, but it is obvious that the Chinese manufacturers, including BYD, intend to be present in all vehicle segments. Pickups will be no exception. 
By the way, if you're not already aware, BYD has been working on their electric pickup truck now for apparently a number of years. Now, the introduction of an EV outside China, specifically in North America, is a different story, but who knows? Now, I would probably say that it's much more likely you're going to see this electric pickup truck in countries like the UK, Australia, Thailand, Southeast Asian countries, and South Africa before you see these in the United States, where obviously there's quite a bit of competition already. Now, it's going to be very interesting when we find out the details of this electric pickup to compare the specifications to United States models. So as soon as I find those out, I'll share those with you guys, but make sure you check out my other video talking about all the electric pickup trucks coming to market, when I think they'll come to market. And I kind of critique some of the media because the media don't do any research and then they just write articles and say, look, look, Rivian, they're, they're making in this year and then this year. Basically, I, in that video, I talk about the realistic timeframes for electric pickup trucks in different markets. So check that one out as well. Now, Geely are planning on significantly ramping up production of electric cars in 2022. They know it's the future. And honestly, and they're clearly making a pretty big effort with their brands, Zika, Polestar, Volvo, and now Verizon with their electric pickup here. My question is, would you consider buying an electric pickup if it was made by a Chinese-owned company? Would that be a barrier of entry to you or does that not matter to you? Is that an issue that you would consider when you're buying one? Now, obviously right now, if you look at the actual car sales charts, the sales of Chinese made, completely Chinese made and owned vehicles in Australia and in other countries are rocketing up like crazy. If you look at the sales charts, it's just like going ballistic talking about 300% plus rises for some of these brands in Australia and in other countries as well. I predict that this will continue over the next few years, but it's gonna be interesting to see because I'm sure that some people will have issues with buying vehicles that are made in China. Now, you gotta remember though, if you're buying a vehicle and it's made by Legacy Auto, pretty good chance a lot of it is already made in China, if not all of it. So actually, before you go and buy your car, Rather than preaching to other people first, do some research on the car you buy to find out whether or not actually you are pretty much buying a car that's from China anyway. And then you're saying to other people, don't buy cars in China, that's evil. And don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with you saying that. I totally understand where you're coming from. But it sort of makes you sound stupid if you don't actually research where your own car is coming from in and of itself. Thanks for watching the channel. Great to see you again. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.